Black Dawn is a helicopter combat simulation, published by Virgin Interactive Entertainment. It was released on the Sony PlayStation in 1996, and the Sega Saturn in 1997. Story Set in 1998, the player controls a helicopter ace recruited into a black ops counter-terrorism strike force named Operation Black Dawn. The player pilots the Agile AW-69 Mohawk, an advanced combat helicopter with a powerful arsenal of weaponry. <laughs> Gameplay The game consists of seven campaigns that take place in different areas, and each campaign has a number of different missions. In addition to search and destroy objectives, there are hostages that require saving. The game has drawn comparisons with Soviet Strike, another helicopter simulator released in the same year. However, Black Dawn resembles an arcade game rather than a typical simulator, not least because various power-ups are obtained from destroyed enemies. A two-player deathmatch mode is included, but can only be accessed via a cheat code. <laughs> development Lead programmer Will Bode cited Choplifter as an inspiration for the game. The game uses the same engine as Agile Warrior, Black Ops Entertainment's previous game. The soundtrack was originally composed by Tommy Tallarico. Reception Black Dawn received generally positive reviews. Critics praised the intense gameplay with numerous targets, the orchestral music, and the clean, detailed graphics, though some criticized the heavy use of distance fog and the blocky ground textures. Some also remarked that the complex controls take time to get used to. However, nearly all were left with an overall positive impression. GameSpot assessed it as what loud, engaging gameplay is all about. Next Generation called it, a pleasing combination of excellent graphics and dead on gameplay. Sega Saturn Magazine summarized it as, a top 3D shoot 'em up that's initially difficult to get to grips with, but ultimately is a very fine game indeed. And Air Hendrix of GamePro concluded, a few flaws aside, Black Dawn is a well rounded game that delivers riveting, adrenaline packed combat. Electronic Gaming Monthly named it a runner-up for Flying Game of the Year behind Pilotwings 64. Air Hendrix called the Saturn version an impressive, exact port of the PlayStation game, but went on to say that the graphics are not as clean and the control configuration is not as intuitive. 